running relatively smoothly, but they got pretty busy uh, yesterday around 8.30. So if you are heading to work, it appears people are back from vacation and you might need a little more time to, uh, to get to work. Uh, Ottawa's first recovery day is coming up on September 8th. And joining us from uh, Amethyst Women's uh, Addiction Center is Cynthia Wildmeyer, a community relations coordinator, and Ottawa Recovery Day coordinator Dan Rathwell. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you. Good. We were just discussing uh, this initiative, and uh, it's exciting. It's exciting, so. and it's overdue. Last year, there were two recovery days, uh, or one day, but two cities involved in recovery day, Vancouver and Victoria. This year, 12 cities across the country will be involved. How did it expand so much in just one year, Dan? I think it expanded because it recognized that we want to change the topic of conversation from the, consequencing, the consequences of addiction to the solution of recovery. I mean, there's as many different paths to recovery as there are people who are in it. Right. And I think that it's important that those voices be heard. And it, it's been recognized. And a lot of people have come on board across the country to, to tell that story. It's surprising to me how difficult it is for people to admit that they've got a problem and then seek, uh, seek help. Dan, what was the statistic that you were telling me? How many people suffer from addiction? In Canada, there's an estimated 9.8 million people. Almost 10 million people yeah. across the country. Yeah, okay. it's huge. And that's why having a recovery day in Ottawa, I mean, we're going to have Mayor Watson there proclaiming it officially, hopefully have tons of people coming out to support it. It's so important because clearly this impacts a huge amount of people. Mm -hmm. So what uh, what can people expect? What time do things kick off on the 8th? Uh, things start at noon. Start right at noon. Yeah, uh, 12 to 3. Mayor Watson is going to read the proclamation to open the celebration. Mm -hmm. There'll be some live music, some guest speakers, men and women in recovery. We're going to uh, you know, gratitude shares. Uh, really important, I think we're having a recovery countdown table, so uh, all the cities across the country are having it, so you know, Ottawa, come on out and support it, and uh, let's, show the, let's show the rest of the country just how much recovery Ottawa has. Mm -hmm. right? uh, what types of people are you encouraging to come out and support Recovery Day? Well, obviously, uh, the number one is for people who've successfully been able to be in recovery. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a huge thing to celebrate, we so often hear the negative side of things where people don't make it all the time uh, exactly so what we're really trying to show is there is another side to things you can successfully be in recovery and it's something we're celebrating because it's not easy okay. so not only is it people who themselves are in recovery but family members who've been supportive friends who've been there uh, even we have activities for kids. Yeah, so activities for kids. Trying to make uh, it as inclusive as possible. Okay. So there are nine organizations that are involved in Ottawa's Recovery Day. What are a few of them? Yep. Uh, well, some I know uh, Shepherds of Good Hope is one, the Ottawa Mission, Rita The Royal Wood. Ottawa, Rita Wood. Um, we've got Sobriety House. Mm -hmm. uh, Oh, I don't want to forget anyone. There's uh, no, no, also, you on the, the, spot the, the Canadian the Center on page. Substance Abuse is going to have a representative come down. The Canadian Addiction Counselor Certification Federation, mm -hmm. CAS Canada. Um, so it's remarkable yeah. to see all of these different organizations coming together to celebrate this one day, and the fact that the mayor is proclaiming it the official uh, recovery day. Is, is a huge feat. We're making leaps and bounds. Yeah, it's a, I think it's nice. Yeah, it's yeah, a big it's milestone. Nice. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Amethyst, as one of the community partners of the event, it was really important to us. We're a center that supports women who are struggling with addiction issues, uh, both gambling, drinking, and substance. And I think us and all the other agencies which are participating, it's important to be there, to have information available. So if anyone comes to this event and they want to learn more about available services in the city, of which there are many amazing ones, mm -hmm. this is also a great opportunity to learn uh, about what resources are out there. Okay, sure. perfect. So you can head to the uh, Amethyst Women's Addiction Center website if you're looking for more information. It's amethyst-ottawa.org. You can follow them on Twitter at Amethyst Center. Uh, and recoveryday.ca is the website dedicated to Ottawa's first recovery day. Dan, we need to congratulate you because as I understand this is your baby and <laughs> it's a huge deal that uh, that Ottawa is celebrating their first and I'm sure there'll be many to come. I thank hope so. You. Thank Thanks you both very much for coming in. No problem. Coming up after the break we'll have your top news headlines including the long wait times for CT 